my guys, I tried. I tried really, really hard to make a C0 Star Zero Advancement Gurum Blade Claudia work. I'm gonna TLDR the video right now. It's really, really freaking tough. However, all of these hours of testing, it wasn't for nothing. I did discover a lot about Claudia, about her passive, I'm talking the Grievous, about the optimal break combo, even though it's actually not that great, and a couple of other things as well. However, before we get into it, I always gotta say, Hi, welcome back to the channel. My name is Lace and this is a Tower of Fantasy video. Today, we are gonna be talking about Claudia. Claudia at C0 without shit all, which is essentially the worst use case that you could possibly pull Claudia for which is what I did. <laughs> and so before we go into the findings, I wanna talk a little bit as to why I actually went onto this adventure. I, I saw a couple of stats such as this one right here and I was like, hey, you know, it, it could actually freaking work. And so the idea started when I saw that Claudia had a 12 on the charge and a 7.5 on the shatter. For you guys who do know Frigg, Frigg has an eight on charge and an eight on shatter, and she actually charges and shatters relatively fast. I was like, wow, Claudia has pretty good values over here. And on top of that, her general attack as well as air attack, those ratios have all been buffed quite significantly. I was like, man, I reckon she might be able to pull off a shatterer or like a sub shatterer role. And if not, then potentially a main DPS because for all of your main DPSs, you want a lot of charge. You wanna spend the most time in your highest charger to get more discharges off. And so with that in mind, I went over to have a look at a couple of the different characters that I would deem, uh, it might work, it might not work. I just put together a couple of different comps that did not include Shiro over here. So starting off with the first one, we have the Claudia and the Bai Ling with these two as their DPSs, sub DPS for whoever. And for those of you who don't know how Bai Ling works, she is essentially physical Tsubasa. It's actually like arrow rain and then you've got like the dodge shot. The weapon types are the same, therefore, the weapon skill set is also the same. And so in this team, again, the Claudia and the Byling are going to be the DPS and the sub DPS. Depending on how I'm feeling, I would say that the Byling hopefully can be the sub DPS. And then we've got Huma on shield breaking duty because I just don't really believe in Claudia's shield breaking until I actually saw it. As for this team over here, we've got the Samir, we've got the Nemesis. And so it's kind of like a vault team plus the added bonus of a Claudia as potentially sub DPS, but also a very, very crucial shield breaker. I'm just gonna say that it did not work. It did not work at all. Unfortunately, the shattering capability of this team was just way too low. And then last of all, I tested the ice comp, but taking out Tsubasa and putting in the Claudia instead, I was actually hoping to have a look at Claudia's Grievous and taking advantage of that to hopefully do 20% more damage for seven seconds. And so what I can say about this comp is that I do think that it is worse than if it had Tsubasa in it, which uh, I think that's pretty obvious. I was just really hoping that the debuffing capability of this Grievous over here here would actually grant like a crap ton of damage. 20% extra damage, that's nothing to scoff at. Tsubasa only gives 15%, but she also actually does damage. And that damage more than makes up for that loss in 5% extra damage. And that reminds me, I didn't talk about the first one over here. Uh, this, was, this was an utter epic fail. It just did not go anywhere. I could at least like almost clear the floor on Bygone like 212 or something. I could almost clear that with this comp. I did clear it with this comp and this one did not get even close like at all. I ran all three of these comps for hours and I, I just couldn't get this one to work. It just did not do enough damage. And so now that I know that everything I did was pure copium at this point, I want to share with you some of the learnings that I did find out about for Claudia as I was playtesting her. And the first thing is that because her ratios are actually pretty good for both the ground attack as well as the aerial attack, they do shatter fairly well. Not exactly the best, but it's kind of okay. Here's a quick showcase of the ground attack. So we're going to go and I am doing the ground attack. I'm going to walk up. Ding, 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 ding. This is just the ground attack string and he is broken. He was broken from about like 30, 35% to zero, which is actually pretty decent. And then it's at this point, I tried to use the aerial combo. It's actually not too bad either. However, the issue with the aerial combo is that you'll see my character is just flying around everywhere. And so in the interest of like AOE mobbing, I don't actually like it very, very much. See, I'm targeting there and then suddenly I'm like over on this guy over here. However, the shield does manage to break relatively fast with the aerial combo. And so I would say, it's good. It is actually exactly what I would expect from a 7.5 
break character. And so here's another example of me doing the normal attack chain and seeing how much it breaks. So as you can see, full shield, I'm just doing the normal attack and it's actually breaking a significant amount. So in the time of the discharge, I mean the Fantasia, we managed to get about 30% of the shield down. Now in this example, I do believe I'm gonna be using the aerial combo. I'm gonna jump up, do the aerial and go ding, ding, ding. And that is a quite a significant amount of break. And you can see when Fantasia has ended, I was able to get to about 60%, so about like 40% of the shield break. This one right here, showcasing the discharge again, and you can see from 100 to about, that was about like 30%. And then here, I do believe I'm gonna be using the skill. So it is gonna be going from 100 to maybe about 25%. Not exactly the greatest, but it's it's not bad, right? And so yeah, in a nutshell, her shield breaking capability, it's actually pretty fair, but it is certainly not exactly like shield breaker level. I 100% would not take this character on her own for my shield breaking endeavors. But the theory was that if you combine this with potentially somebody like a Frigg who does have some level of sub shatter capability, I think it actually could work. However, to make it worth it to put Claudia into your team and taking Tsubasa out, it's gonna actually take the C1 at least for that damage gain. And so the next thing I want to talk about is the Grievous effect in which when you get the fully charged weapon, so when you get like the full circle, you will actually be able to on your next attack, hit the enemy, make them Grievous for seven seconds and they will take 20% extra damage. Now, I do have a little bit of footage over here. I'm about to go Grievous. You can see I'm about to fully charge and the Grievous is going to be shown by a bunch of purple lines. I'm going to go ahead and play it Grievous uh, right now. And so as you can see, there are these purple lines. I don't know if you guys can see, but there are some like really, really thin purple lines. I don't know if, okay, that's a little bit better. So hopefully you can see that over there. But the point I wanted to make here is that first of all, it goes through shields. And second of all, you notice that this guy is actually resisting my physical attacks. And so despite being resistant to the physical attacks, I am still able to land the Grievous on your boy. Now, the second thing about Grievous is that it actually hits multiple enemies. So I'm gonna go ahead, come up to this group, hit them once, and then uh, hit him again and I hit him one more time. And you can see all those enemies actually got the Grievous debuff. Everyone is like doing the purple dropping thing and it's actually a really good day. However, with all of my testing, I don't believe the Grievous actually hits with the E skill. So if I get into Grievous, that's there. I'm gonna E and you can see that nobody pretty much is under Grievous because it only hit the first one. Uh, where is this guy? I can't find him in this group. But trust me, one of them got Grievous and it's the first one that got hit with the E skill. And so the last thing I want to show you guys is that Grievous doesn't work right after you proc Fantasia. So if I go into Fantasia and I get the full weapon charge, oh, oh so hopefully I'm about to go boom and then I'm going into Fantasia. I still got hit for some reason. I'm going to hit him, but you don't see any Grievous. There's no Grievous going down. All right, I'm going to show you that I'm going to charge up to Grievous and then and you can see that he has Grievous. Do you see those purple lines? Those purple lines were as a result of me hitting him, charging my weapon fully, and then applying the Grievous. And so here it is again, we're about to go into Grievous and we hit him and you can see the purple lines right there. And so yeah, what that means is that if you do want the Grievous debuff on the enemy, then you do actually need to go through the whole charge cycle. You can't just go into Fantasia and actually get it. And I do believe that this actually applies to all of the other weapon types. So for example, my Frig weapon is able to free Freeze when I do get the full charge. I'm gonna go try it now. And so here I'm about to charge Freak's freeze and I'm gonna go up and attack him, attack him a couple of times and he should actually go frozen. And there it goes. Now, what I do have to say is that sometimes it's been a little bit inconsistent. So for example, I might go in over here and I might be able to go walk up to him and freeze him. It's happened sometimes. I think that there might be like other external factors, but generally speaking, the rules that I just spoke about, they hold pretty true. One last time to help me confirm it, I'm gonna walk up, Grievous, and there is no Grievous, none at all. Okay, okay. <laughs> Uh, sometimes I feel like I'm tripping. So now that's actually incredibly important to note because whilst in today's testing or in these last few days of testing, I did not actually find very much use for Claudia in the personal solo teams, but if you actually take her into bosses, such as the newly released Raid, I do think that she will actually have some utility. So I'm talking about like this one over here, Raid, in which somebody brings a Claudia, and then you can apply the Grievous, and everybody is gonna do 20% extra damage on the boss for seven seconds. And so yeah, whilst I couldn't make the C0 Claudia work for me, I do believe that she definitely has the utility over here. Just remember what I just said in terms of those different rules, where you can't trigger the Grievous or any of those like on-charge effects 
effects with the Fantasia. However, my guys, with that being said, I think that's going to bring us to the end of the video. I've done so much freaking testing. Unfortunately, Cesar Claudia will not fit in with the Vault team, will not fit in with the Ice team. She's going to do well with the Shiro, the Shiro C3, the Shiro C0 even. However, I'm sorry, I don't even have a Shiro to freaking show you guys to give it a shot because, um, still unobtained but yeah that's gonna bring us to the end of the claudia testing uh honestly it was a freaking wild ride and if i did tell you guys something that you didn't know let me know what that was and if there was something that i didn't cover that is pretty interesting to know about claudia do let us know it down in the comments below of course the recommendations for claudia is still going to be the same c0 without shiro don't pull c0 with shiro and you want to main that then pull her Otherwise, for all teams, C1 Claudia. Okay, and this is going to be the end for real, for real. So if you guys did enjoy this video, please consider leaving a like, subscribing to the channel, or turning on that notification bell. But otherwise, as your girl Claudia once said, all good things must come to an end. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.